If you don't remember, GNOME 3 was initially released within Categories List Grid. It was on GNOME 3.8 release they introduced the app folders. But that design was never fully featured, not until today in GNOME 3.38. So now we have all the pieces together, it is time for an inclusive UX review. And I hope you know what's new already, because I won't get bothered with that. Okay, so let's start with this over-engineered animation I don't really fancy. The first thing I do like a lot, is this whole overview we see. The icon sizes, the placement and the distances between them, are almost perfect for the eye, and help to quickly discover what we're looking for. On a side note I also love add way to icon set, that perhaps isn't quite unique, but I believe is a beautiful theme that helps greatly to easily recognize the apps. The next thing I love and I think many people will appreciate too, is the performance feedback. So when we're rearranging the icons, the animations and the whole visuals are smooth and feel very natural. Even when we create new app folders and opening them, and by the way notice that Shell tried to guess the name, or closing them, again the animations are pretty slick. And we can also move the app folders exactly similar like the icons. Something I consider as one of the best usability features of this grid, and I'm saying as a heads up for other systems that aren't doing it, is that if for example we want to open multiple apps, we can simply press Ctrl, open two or more terminals, and still remain to the overview. And obviously the windows open behind, but we don't need them right now. Another thing that I mostly like, is if we remove an icon from an app folder. Oh, and by the way, perhaps it would be better if Shell would immediately ask for a name when we create a new app folder. So anyway, when we remove an icon from an app folder and there is only one left, the app folder won't be destroyed. Poof, that failing animation is a bug, and I must say I've found lots of them but hopefully will be fixed on 338.1 release. And anyway, for destroying an app folder we need to remove all the icons, and I prefer that. Oof! And now the icon got invisible, but whatever. One last thing I want to show you, is if we move an icon from one page to another page, we will get an empty spot, always at the end of the grid. We can't get empty spots in the middle, but I can't show you that because it bugs. And if we move an icon to an already filled page, the last icon of the page, in this case Firefox, will become first icon of the next page. Now, I understand that you see all those as nothing much, I mean even Apple and Google are doing them already. But under the hood there is huge work, and basically all the layouts are rewritten, plus there are completely new libraries that improve performance. Anyway, let's proceed with the dark Rika and the things I do not like. And the very first thing I do not like is the paging design, that doesn't really feel like paging, but mostly looks like a continuing scrolling. We have these bullet indicators, but in reality it's easy to get lost even in 3 pages, and most importantly we can't actually organize our apps in pages. For example, if we get this application here, we can't create a new page and place it, which is the whole point of paging. Another thing is if we get inside an app folder, and meanwhile it takes a lot of time to take an application out, but if we try to add it directly to another folder, we can't. We can place the app anywhere we want, except inside a folder. Not even back to the one we took it from. To be honest I didn't check out the source code, but I think this is missing functionality rather a bug. Speaking of the app folders, there is one more thing that I don't like, and that is their small size. Let me show you. On this app folder we have 5 icons and I'm going to add 4 more to fill it. Normally 9 spots should be enough, but things aren't so pretty if we need more. So now it is full with 9 icons, and by the way we can also rearrange the applications inside. Although the drag and drop inside the folders for some reason isn't that smooth. But the problem will arise if we add one more icon. In this case the folder won't scale even if there is room, so it is very easy to miss it or at the best it is very annoying to make an extra gesture. Also to mention we can rearrange the icons inside folders pages, but we can't create empty spots, which is inconsistent with the grid design, and obviously that isn't a paging at all. And since I'm here, the very next issue is the name trimming. And I don't mind it that much in here, but what completely annoys me is that the same happens on search. There are actually times I don't know what app is what, and there is no way to figure it out. One more annoyance I have, 
And ok, that's kind of a small visual annoyance, is when we scroll on grid there is a clipping on the edges. That's mostly noticeable when we scroll on Windows Overview, because I use it often to switch workspaces, and like the name cropping it's there since ever. Lastly, and that isn't really something I believe GNOME developers should fix, but I'm just mentioning it, I would like to be able to see the desktop files with right click. There are endless times I want to see what an app is running, and it is so boring searching for their desktop file. And so, this video is coming to an end, and as you watch there wasn't much to complain about. I think they have done a good job with the application grid. And besides, we just press super to get on application overview, and from there we can simply type to search and launch our apps. That's really the best design of GNOME Shell. Actually, the only design.